morning. Uh, so I'm having a problem with my uh, U-joints on my passenger side. They make uh, stupid noises and they squeak and they uh, clunk. So I'm going to try to drive and let you listen to what that sounds like. And then I'm going to walk you through replacing them on this car. So hopefully it'll do it while I'm uh, driving because sometimes it does and sometimes it doesn't. So let's see if I can get it to do it. course not. Now it's not doing it. Let's try this again. Well, you can hear it a little bit there. I don't know if it'll come through on the iPhone, but... Uh, that's what I'm going to try to replace. I have these uh, precision uh, precision 393. Oh, it's backwards. Everything's backwards on the iPhone. It's 393 uh, is the, the, the part number from precision. I have a lifetime warranty. We'll see. So, signing off for now. Hello. Matt here again. Um, <clears throat> so uh, we're going on part two, video two of replacing the half shaft U joints on the, my Datsun 240Z. And from my last video, uh, I was trying to hear the squeak and the noise from the drive shaft. I learned a few things from that video. Uh, one is I look really bad on camera. Probably shouldn't be doing this. Two, I talk weird out of like this side, of my mouth doesn't move, so like it looks like I've had a stroke or something, like Drew Barrymore, I'm not really sure what's going on with that. Uh, number three, you can hear the drive shafts really bad in my car, it's like, you know, and uh, squeak, 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 it came through way better on my iPhone than I thought it would, so, um, uh, I've pulled the tire off and uh, jacked up the car, uh, not in that order, and I was going to show you that part, but I figure if you can't figure out how to get the tire off and the car jacked up, you shouldn't be doing this anyway. So uh, let's take a look at my U-joint problem. Okay, so here are the, the uh, half shafts. That's an R180 from my 1972. Uh, Datsun 240Z. Uh, it's a 390 uh, uh, gear ratio in there. Uh, so you can see half shafts are in pretty decent shape. There's the U-joint. Now, <clears throat> if I move it, you can see how old it is. And if you keep moving it, let's see. Okay, you, you can see it wiggling there, maybe not so much because I'm moving the camera, but trust me, it wiggles a lot. There you go, see that? That should not be doing that. Hear that? That's the problem. So this outer U-joint has to be replaced, and I'm also going to replace the inner U-joint right there, because, you know, don't do one and not the other, duh. <clears throat> so, let me get the shafts out, and uh, and I'll be back. You, uh, to get the shafts out, you just uh, undo these bolts here. You know, you do one and spin it, do the other one. Same thing for the at the uh, differential end, you can see the bolts there. 
do one and spin it, do the next and spin it, so on and so forth. So I will be back when I'm done with that. I got all the bolts off. Um, you can see here. Now a little tip is don't take all the bolts off on the outer drive shaft because if you take all these off and then you try to take the bolts off here the drive shaft just falls down you don't have anything to to hold it while you turn against it because you can't put the brake on because this will just fall off so I left one bolt in just finger tight and then you can put the e-brake on and that locks the shaft and then you can turn it uh, to break the bolts. They're not on that tight, you know, they don't need to be that tight. So I just used a 14 millimeter wrench and off they came. So there we go. I just lost the spring washer. Awesome. So to get out the drive shaft. Sorry for the bad camera work. You're going to take out the bolt. It's hard to do with one hand. There we go. And boom, it drops. So now this one is free. And that one, I already took the, the nuts off of that one. So if I just pull. Theoretically, it'll come off. I might have to use a little uh, manual force, so I'll be right back. Well, I needed a, a little bit of manual encouragement. And uh, with the manual encouragement, uh, we got the half shaft. Ta -da. Let's focus on that, please. There we go. Got our half shaft. And while I was under there, I noticed... Ooh, what's that? That's that funky yellow stuff they put on from the, uh, the boneyard. So this has been replaced before. So this isn't the original 40-year-old uh, uh, half shaft. You can see there's the differential hub. It looks uh, looks okay. We'll clean that off before we put it back on. And uh, now we got to get these U joints out. So I'm gonna go work on that, and I will film that in a little bit. Okay. In the garage now, you can see the U joints here. Look how much play there is in there. These things are just floating around. I don't even think there's needle bearings in there. They've probably been pulverized. But that is not supposed to do that. Um, and so I'm going to pull out the spring clips. I don't know if you can see. Let's get some light in there. Uh... There's a spring clip right there. Let's see if I can make this more obvious. Ooh. Um, thank God for editing, huh? Okay, there's a spring clip right there. Let's see that right there that's a spring clip I'm gonna pop that sucker out do the same on the other side there'll be one here Boop. and then I'll remove this uh, the caps here and here this will come off and then I'll do the same for this side so let me get to that as you can see I have the side of the one one of the universal joint ends knocked almost all the way out. I wanted to stop and show you what was going on. 
you can see the joint is coming out nicely. Once again with my friend Manual Persuasion. Um, so uh, <clears throat> you just keep knocking it out. Just you, you just whack, whack, whack. I put a little bit of uh, penetrating oil. Um, not not promoting a brand there. It doesn't matter. I have like three different cans of penetrating oil. So that was the closest. That's what I used. And here are the the retaining clips. Those came out real easy, no problem. And you just I I'm using this socket here. This goes in there on the races or on the caps I should say and the races for a bearing but anyway and this is live TV folks live TV so you just hit it from this side and you have to have a space so that the the cap will pop out the other side if you're doing it on a flat surface you're not gonna get anywhere so um, uh, we'll be back when that's out I got the uh, you join out. Here's the other part. Came out without too much trouble. You just bang it through one side, and then you gotta then you gotta bang it back through the other side. So you can see the joint here. This this one and this one weren't too bad. You can see the inside of the. Um, the cap here, all the needle bearings are there. They're pretty well greased, and the the seal is still intact. So this one was okay. It's this side of the universal joint that's really messed up. If you look at this, it it twists. Let's see. If, look at all that slop in there. That should not do that. That is a whole bunch of movement that should not be there. So that is the nature of the problem. So now I'm going to bang these out. I'll drive this through that way. And then you have to drive it the ca this cap back through that way. And then the whole thing will come out. So I'll do that. And we'll be back.